On Nationwide this evening, the apple never falls far from the tree. We meet this father and son duo who are heading on a nationwide tour, bringing wonderful piano music to a venue near you. Plus, we meet a young Ennis schoolboy whose piano playing skills have gotten him noticed in the Banner County and beyond. Welcome to a musical themed Nationwide this evening. Now, for many years, RTE viewers would have seen Frank McNamara playing piano on various programmes, including The Late Late Show. Now, Frank has had his own troubles in the last few years, fighting cancer, COVID and debt through his music. Frank is a very, very talented musician and his son, JJ, is following in his father's footsteps. They're setting out on a journey, a concert tour called The Apple and the Tree. Mary Fanning went to County Mead to meet them. JJ McNamara is 23 years old, at present studying at the Royal Academy in London. He's built a prestigious career, performing as a soloist with international orchestras, and he's won several major national competitions, including the coveted Mabel Swanson Pianoforte Award in 2019. JJ wanted to follow in his father's footsteps and as the two of them watch a dual Late Late Show performance in 2011 in their family sitting room, it brings back so many memories. I used to hear my dad playing all the time and uh, you know he was on TV and everything and you know it was just uh, I remember one day he was in the in the piano room and he was just uh, playing through a bit of I think it was Rachmaninoff's second concerto and I was only just only about four or five at this stage and I know ever since then you know I just knew that's what I wanted to do so you know he's a huge inspiration on me you know so JJ's talents emerged very early on in his career, a finalist in Star Search at the tender age of 11. He started to make his name and continued his studies diligently, winning major competitions and getting scholarships. I'm studying now at the Royal Academy of Music in London, which is one of the, the top conservatoires in Europe. Uh, so it's um, very prestigious and you know, I was very, very lucky to, to get in. And I think it's where I wanted to take my my career now uh, going forward. It's the best place to be. Uh, so I'm doing my master's there now, a two year course. I'm just started in September, um, studying with uh, Rustam Hayrudinov, uh, one of the most uh, acclaimed pianists in the world. And you know, it's just such a great experience. It's, it's almost surreal that uh, you know, I've gotten to this stage now, um, you know, since you know, it was kind of a, a childhood dream to be able to you know, be a, a pianist. Uh, and you know, I'm just very happy how things are going. I'm very excited to see where things go in the future. Namara was a household name for two decades as musical director of The Late Late Show with Gay Byrne. He started in 1979 when he was 19 and was involved in all kinds of music and fun like the toy show in 1992. Whoa, Pinky, whoa, Pinky. Hey, what are you doing playing computer games? Gay's out there getting burnt at a stake. He's getting burnt. Yeah, but he could have third degree burns, let alone fourth degree burns at the moment. Or even honorary degree burns. Look, I have Spotty here for you. Here, whoa, Pinky, whoa, Pinky. And wait till I finish my game here. Look, no, I wait. have Spotty here. Look, he's, on he's, you. he's thick skinned. It'll take ages to burn him. Don't worry. <laughs> fantastic memories, yeah. And, and fantastic experiences and, and learning uh, from, from the likes of Gay Byrne. I mean, it couldn't be. 
couldn't have a better mentor and, and teacher. Just watching him work was, was, uh, was a lesson in itself. He was such a professional and such a perfectionist and, and uh, worked very, very hard and his work ethic was fantastic. After the Late Late Show, Frank went on to carve out a career touring the world with orchestras and also producing in studio. He'd married the love of his life, Teresa Lowe, and they had a family of four, all talented and musical. Frank and his wife, Teresa, hit the headlines again in recent times when they were involved in a debt insolvency case. But Frank was also through the mill with his health. Last year, he was very ill with COVID. Then he had to fight oesophageal cancer. I got an awful fright when, when uh, I got the cancer diagnosis. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, the, the treatments uh, have ex improved exponentially. The operation has improved exponentially. Um, I, I had, um, my surgeon did robotic surgery, surgery on, on me, uh, minimum invasive surgery. I was walking around the next day, although I had 19 holes. <laughs> I don't know how minimum that, minimum invasion that is. But um, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's uh, a good few scars, but they're, they're healing well. Uh, I, I, was, I was so lucky. And it was during his chemotherapy that he pulled himself off the couch and returned to the piano. Through the music, he broke the barriers of pain, fought his exhaustion and found his way back. I haven't played proper classical music for, or practiced certainly, for close to 40 years, 39, 40 years. And uh, it, it was while I was on, on chemo, I just needed to do something for body and mind and I started practicing initially, maybe half an hour, an hour, two hours, three hours, five hours. And I spent the whole day playing and I started getting my technique back to the way it was when I was in my early 20s, and, which was very exciting for me and, uh, and rewarding. And then I learned um, a piece that I always wanted to learn, the Mephisto Waltz by, by Liszt, which is one of the most difficult pieces uh, in the piano repertoire. And I'd probably be safe to say I'm the only person ever to learn it while on chemo <laughs> because it requires a humongous amount of energy to play. Now father and son will start their concert tour around Ireland on April 24th. The title is The Apple and the Tree and Frank and JJ will be playing several classical pieces and some fun pieces. This will be a classical concert, but it'll be a classical concert with a difference because I'll probably tell a few yarns and stories about my days on the, the, the Late Late Show and like we'll have a bit of crack as well because we're not, we're not the kind of stuffy types, you know, and, uh, and often I think classical musicians take themselves a little bit too seriously. You know, it is entertainment at the end of the day, you know. They're excited to be playing together in front of live audiences and son JJ is proud to join his father on this nostalgic journey. There have been a lot of challenges for the family uh, in the last couple of years. It feels like we've all pulled through now and, uh, you know, this is like a new chapter, you know, uh, getting back to the way things should be. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's going to be brilliant, you know, playing alongside my dad. I haven't done that in so many years and, you know, it'll be a great experience to, to kind of go, go back and do it again because um, we used to play a lot together when we were younger, when I was younger um, and to do that again in concerts would be brilliant. Frank is at the top of his game in great form and immensely proud to be with his son on this concert tour which will help fund JJ's studies. Oh he's fantastic, he's absolutely fantastic, he's, he's, uh, he's, got, he's got the spark, you know, he has that special gift that only very few people have. Um, it's a bit like if you put it in football terms, you know, when, when Salah gets the ball, everyone's excited. You think, you know, he's going to score because he has that something special, you know. And JJ has that in a musical, musical sense. And uh, it's just an, an excitement that you can't learn. You can't teach somebody to be like that. They either are or they aren't, and, and he has it in spades. During the practice sessions, it was very obvious the love between the father and son and the immense respect they have for each other. The apple never falls far from the tree and the title of the concert, The Apple and the Tree, is indeed fitting for a duo that exude talent and excellence.
in true McNamara style, there's also a good bit of fun. So it's going to be fun. It has to be fun, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we're going to play the serious music in the, in the main concert, but when we get to the encores... Are you sure we get any encores? Well, I hope we get encores, otherwise we're in big trouble. Yeah, but I'm sure we get encores. People would be nice to us. Um, yeah, we're going to do for encores, we're going to do four hands, one piano, uh, and this one is uh, the William Tell Overture, uh, the gallop from the William Tell Overture by Rossini. It's normally an orchestral piece, but this is a reduction for four hands and one piano. So let's go. Here we go. And we wish father and son all the best on their concert tour.